Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ and my little YouTube family. I'm so glad some of you found me. For those of you who are used to seeing my creations, this is one of my latest. I'm not sure why I made it. I just, everybody here, he knows already. But anyway, when I wear it out, maybe uh, a few people, it says, do your own research people what does this look like see i started out just putting flowers and then this i started adding stuff and i thought oh my goodness that looks like something what is that on my shirt oh it's just one of the beads the, the light makes it look st different anyway it looks like something we've been seeing in the news lately doesn't it well anyway maybe some people will get the point because Yesterday, I was walking my dog. This man, I've seen him a few times. He decides to get real talkative, right? 92 degree weather, hot sun pouring down on me. And things coming out of his mouth, I was like, okay, I got to go. And he just keeps right on and says, if everybody would just, you know, you know, then we'd all be all right. And, you know, everything would get back to, well, everything's getting back normal i mean pretty much i don't know about other countries i would sure love to hear from the uk i guess i'm gonna have to write him an email anyway what i'm on here what did i get on here for my mind is like my phone has been my signal has been going up and up. um oh my prayer prayer request I have a dear old friend, not old as in elderly old, but I met her on, before I got into YouTube or any other social platforms, and I just found out that I had, uh, that the doctors, a doctor just diagnosed me with ME-CFS. So I was online looking for information about it, you know, because that's, Normally, the thing people do to find out, you know, something that, um, well, actually, the Lord had already led me in the direction of getting on the computer, and he told me to look up the Epstein-Barr virus. Some of you know this story. I looked it up, and it led me to ME-CFS. Then, I go out and find my own doctor to confirm it, and he's like, well, I don't believe in uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, and he gave me an antidepressant. And I like, uh, whatever, you know, and I took it, you know, I was like, oh, whatever the doctor says, you know, now I'm different. Now, I'm different. Okay, so, then I'm like, Lord, that's, that wasn't the doctor to go to, was it? Obviously. And I, I don't know what I prayed. I pray every night. I mean, something, you know, even back then when I wasn't praying a whole lot, I was praying. The radio goes off to wake us up at 4.30 in the morning. And here's this commercial. The doctor is doing the commercial. He just opened up chronic fatigue syndrome clinic. Okay, so I found out I had ME. He called it mild encephalomyelitis. And he said, here in the States, they insist on calling it chronic fatigue syndrome. So they are, we call it ME-CFS. Okay, and he had, to, he had a write-in. I wish I had that paper, but I don't need it now. It doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, I get online looking for more information, and I find this website called um, hfme.org in the UK. And... This young lady who had it really bad put this site together. Well, I get in the chat room. She had a chat room in there, and I was chatting, you know, with the other ladies. There might have been a couple guys, but I don't remember. And somebody was talking about, uh, what do you call it when you come back as something else? Oh, come on. In reincarnation. 
Someone was saying something about, oh, I hope I come back as a lovely flower. I'm like, what? They die quick. Really? And someone else, uh, something, and then someone else saying something, and I said, the Word of God says that it is appointed unto men once to die, and after that comes the judgment. Well, that just went over everybody's head like a lead balloon. No, I mean, that's not the right way to say it. It made them all mad. Well, my friend Rosie was on there. We weren't friends then. I didn't know her. She was just one of the people that would leave comments. And we must have been able to exchange phone numbers or something because she... Or email addresses, not phone numbers. They told me that my comments would have to be held until the administrator approves them. So I wrote back to the administrator, who's this like 19-year-old girl, which it's her site. She's, you know, she says her parents are Christians. She understands, but she doesn't want all the other people upset by my beliefs. But I can't get upset over their beliefs that they want to come back as something else when that's a total lie from the pit of hell. Okay, whatever. This is not about reincarnation. This is how I met Rosie. This was over, I'm going to say, 50, I found out in 2001. I probably met her 2001 or 2002. And we just became real tight. We emailed long letters all the time. We sent each other birthday presents, Christmas presents. Anyway, life went on. You know, I got into this. We got apart. And then she started emailing me again. Well, now I find out she just sent me a text I had texted her and said because she hadn't answered me and I said are you okay she texted me and she said it's mighty how did she put it it's mighty odd you should text me this right now let me say this right all right she said hey Jeannie it is amazing that you sent this message because we just now found out that Alan that's her husband Alan's MRI came back, and the neurologist says it is urgent that we get in to see him immediately. Please pray. And I put, I surely will. So I'm asking everybody to please pray for Alan in Arizona. Something in his brain, no doubt, or it wouldn't be neurology. So, I know there's not a whole lot of you, but you know what? We're two or more gathered, even if it's over the internet. Jesus said, there I will be. So, I'm going to send up a prayer right now. Y'all can just listen to it when you hear this. And type, Amen, if you're in agreement. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray always that your will be done. I pray that if it's your will... That whatever the neurologist has to say to Alan, that it will be something he can fix. Or, if it's his time to go and isn't re repairable, that you have your hands on him and give him and Rosie absolute peace about it. Because these things happen, we know that with you all things are possible. The Bible says that with the blood of Jesus, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. But I also know it is not always your will to heal us physically completely. Always. So please, Lord, if it be your will, let this be something he can repair right away. No nothing about it but mostly Lord I pray that his soul will be ready to come straight to you if that is the decision that you make for this man 
We want him born again, saved, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. And Lord, send Rosie plenty of help for her health needs. If you decide you want Alan with you before everything hits the fan, but I don't believe that'll happen because I just don't. And I'll just leave it at that. Let us all continue in prayer for him as the Lord wills. In Jesus' precious and holy name I pray. Amen. One thing I have learned lately about praying, we never want to pray against Father's will. Okay? We think, oh, well, it's this is how you think. It's Father's will that none should perish. That's in there. That's in the Bible. It is God's will that none should perish. The lake of fire was created for the devil and his fallen angels. So surely if I pray, save this man, he will, because that's his will. But he will not go against our will. If we, our minds, will not comprehend the love that Jesus has for us, and we're just mouthing it. Yes, I believe. Yes, I want to go to heaven. But it's not a heart change. It doesn't count. It can't be a head decision. It has to come from the heart. Your head has to decide it. And then your heart has to coincide. Uh, be one with your brain, so to speak. I don't know how to put it into words. I hope I'm making sense. Your in intellect takes in the knowledge. Jesus came to earth. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He spilled all his blood to save us from our sins. You have to believe that. And then take it in. And really realize it. Really to the point where you fall in love with this man, not like earthly love, it's agape love, godly love. He's the son of Almighty God, part God, part man, but he was, he's all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit are all God, left his heavenly estate to come down here and live man when he was in his ministry he slept with his head on a rock you know what I'm saying he stayed in the desert 40 days to fast to get the flesh that love for food his mom probably cooked good he had brothers and sisters but the point is he was preparing for his ministry Praying and fasting. Not many people can do that. You have to be called to do that. Go without food for 40 days. I only know of one person that did it. I've heard of others that did. Anyway, please keep Alan in your prayers. And also Rosie. Because... Uh, even though she can drive, I think her condition is worse. Well, I don't want to say that. I don't want to speak negative. She's a holy woman. And she trusts in the Lord. And we want, we want her to be healed as well. Amen? Amen. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Long video for a prayer request, but um, I wanted you to have the background. That's how I ended up on social media, I guess. Well, yeah, because up till then, all I did was graphic design work, you know, making cards and signs and designing uh, t-shirts, printing them out. Anyway, just art stuff, you know, from what I learned in college. I sure, 
I sure am glad that a few of you found me and I missed a bunch. But um, I think I might put this up on BitChute too. And see what kind of um, prayer warriors I can find on there. All right. Thank you, everybody. God bless each and every one of you. And I will talk to you later.